G'day everybody, uh, welcome back to uh, Revit LT 2016 uh, Introduction to the bare bones of this piece of software Okay, so um, in the last project, which was number 4 uh, which I'm guessing makes us this one number 5 um, it was all about walls Okay, so we, we had a little blank project we'd previously set up our levels punched in some walls, okay, that were constrained to these levels. Okay, so if I click on one of these walls there, we can see it's up to a setting level, 2,700 millimeters. So it's all fine and dandy. Okay, so the next part, major component for um, any of uh, project would probably be some doors and windows. Okay, so where do we find them? right next door to the wall function okay so we're still in this architecture ribbon or the architecture tab of the ribbon in the build section so we're really just building it still so what we have here we have door and window um, elements right no next door to each other okay so we're going to put in some doors first so if I hover over that cursor a little bit okay we'll see there that the um, pop-up menus gives us a short key of DR okay so that's quite handy there so but we'll just click left click on that um, button or icon and here we go so now we're in the modify slash place door um, protocols or sort of prompts and in the properties it's telling us what we have available to insert into a project. Okay, so at the moment we have the uh, metric single flush door. Okay, and if you were to look in the library, you'd see that this was just one file, but when we drag these into the actual um, project, there could be multiple variations. Okay, of 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 the one family. So these are all different sizes for the same door. It's going to look the same. It's just going to behave a little bit differently with regards to height and width. So it doesn't really matter which one we choose at the stage. So we'll just stick with the uh, 813 by 2134. Now, for those of us who are working in um, Australia, New Zealand, um, especially, standard door sizes here are probably an 820 by 2040. So what I suspect is happening with these ones here, because these numbers, none of these numbers match anything that we would use in Australasia. Okay, so what I suspect is that these doors uh, would probably fit um, some sort of imperial measurement, but when converted over to millimetres it becomes a little bit different. We're not going to stress about this, because all we're really worried about is actually putting doors in to the project at this stage. So we choose our doors, bring our cursor into um, our drawing space okay and you'll see there as I float the cursor around in the middle, in the middle of the air we get the stop sign which means no function will happen so I'm tapping away there nothing's going to work however as soon as I hit the wall there we go zoom in a little bit there it is okay so what doors and windows need is a host okay so and that is a, what a window a wall is for a door so to place a door extremely easily we just go left click and drop it in okay you'll see Revit instantly just basically cuts an opening out um, shows us a couple of temporary dimensions and that's basically it so so that was one door so that was a door in a, in a brick veneer wall and punching the one down here another one up there maybe another one up there okay so there's four doors in the external wall there now what I'll do is I might go into my properties bar okay click down there I'll choose a different size door now just for the sake of the exercise okay now I can go into these internal walls okay and we can just click around and there we go so same door family, different wall sizes or different wall thicknesses. Again, Revit just basically the way it's designed is that the doors will automatically adjust and cut to suit the thickness of the wall. 
Okay. Um, now, if you want to move these doors around, um, you can click on them. You get this little four arrow cursor popping up. This, if I left hold that with my left hand, mouse button, I can just drag that. This looks like a freehand move function. Um, the other thing I can do is, if I zoom in, click on a door, I get the up and down, I get these arrows here which change the direction of um, where the hinges are, the direction of swing, and direction and all that sort of stuff. The faster way of doing that is if I tap the space bar. So one, one, two, three, four. Another way of doing it. Okay, now, for the windows, basically very very simple basically the same process okay we go to architecture tab um, tab within the ribbon there's our window function you see that the short key is WN I just left click on there same principle we get the stop sign until the window finds a, an appropriate host okay so this is the 915 by uh, 1830 so click on there and again same thing adjusts itself you know for the thickness of the the wall so I could punch one in here exact same window but just basically squeezes itself and suits itself in there okay so I can also go window go down here see if I can find there's not a huge selection here that I, you know, we're not after a selection right now. So, a few other little windows here. La -de -da -de -da. Okay, and that's the basic process. Okay, here's one window. The arrow here is on the inside, which means it's incorrect. I need to flip that. So, I left click on that little arrow, and they'll point the window in the correct direction based on what the designer's intent was okay so now what we can do um, is go into our 3d up the top there quick look and there we go nice and simple okay there's a door there's the windows okay there's one window size there's another, so different thicknesses. Okay, quick double check on our elevations. There we go. You can see the doors gives us um, a direction of swing as well, which is extremely so. Some nice architectural features there. Okay, that is basically it. Okay, so let's go back to the ground floor plan. Okay. So we will see you in the next uh, video. In the next video, what we are going to do is we are going to put a roof on. Okay, so it'll be a standard hip and valley roof, and um, we'll add fascias, gutters, all that sort of stuff to it as well. And um, we'll go from there. So see you later.